Hello my Juvians, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be talking about the top 5 uses for aloe vera. You can use store bought aloe vera gel or if you have fresh aloe vera plant at home, obviously you can use that. Now before we get into this video, if you like videos like this guys, give this video a big old thumbs up. Now can we try and get this video to 2500 likes? Can we do that? Can we do that? Come on my Jovians, I know we can do it. Let's get started. Please click the red subscribe button and the tiny little bell right next to it so that you don't miss any of my videos. Before I get into the top 5 uses in my opinion, I want to talk about my favorite brand of aloe vera. This video is not sponsored you guys i don't know why some people have problem with that anyways but that's another video altogether but my favorite brand not sponsored is this one by nature republic and this is 92 percent soothing aloe vera gel so the thing is I've tried many, 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 many different types of aloe vera gel that you get from the store. Not that many minis, but like a few minis, okay? <sighs> I just make myself sound more than I am. Now, the problem is a lot of these aloe vera gel are colored green. If you've ever scraped out like an actual gel, you know, you'd know that it's just clear gel. So a lot of brands actually add green color just to make it look more authentic, which is contradicting to the fact that you want something completely natural, right? So that is one problem I have with a lot of brands. Another problem I have is that they add fragrance as well. So when you use aloe vera gel as a skincare treatment and this treatment has fragrance and color and all of that, I'm sure it's it's a it's bunch of chemicals that you really don't need going on your face when you're just trying to treat your skin. So beware of the the brand that you buy I've actually got pimples and a lot of allergic reactions from some of the uh, brands that I've used so just putting that out there make sure you buy the right thing otherwise you're not gonna get any of these benefits in fact you're gonna be harming yourself if you buy like a brand that is not good now I don't know all the brands that is good and all the brands that is bad but it's up to you as a consumer to check what you're buying make sure that the aloe vera gel itself is clear and uh, if there is no fragrance better so anyways this aloe vera gel right here i can show you the tub itself is green but the gel is completely clear so as you can see completely clear gel now there seems to be some sort of a fragrance on this let me just put on my hand and just soothe my hand okay i don't want to waste that <laughs> A slight scent to this I wish there wasn't but it hasn't uh, affected me or bothered me or I've not had any allergic reaction to this particular scent. I'm putting it on my legs you guys can't I be a little bit more civilized at least when I'm filming a video another brand that I really really like is this aloe vera juice from Kama and this is also clear absolutely scentless there is no smell at all so it's like in a juice form this one it's not really in a gel form now let's get started with the uses Number one, use it as a hair mask. Now you can use aloe vera gel plain as it is on your hair as a hair mask if you have lackluster, dull and weak hair or you can even add aloe vera gel into another homemade pack that you have or if you have a store bought hair mask that you like to use, you can add a dollop of aloe vera gel into that hair mask to make it even more beneficial for your hair because aloe vera gel has a lot of soothing and strengthening properties which is amazing for your hair. It's gonna absolutely make your hair gorgeous shiny silky and smooth also strong number two is again using it for your hair you can actually use it as a hair serum to give you instant shine and a glow for your hair or you can even use it as a setting gel to smooth out flyaways if you buy store-bought gel for your hair to set and smooth your hair you can actually eliminate the store-bought gel and just use aloe vera gel because it's gonna continuously give you benefits and it's also gonna like smooth down all of those flyaways give your hair a little bit of shine and it's actually gonna even hold your hairstyle to certain extent now obviously it's not gonna be like a store-bought setting gel but it is going to hold your style to a certain extent so try that out number three you can use aloe vera gel as a plain and simple face mask you can take a big fat scoop of this gel and apply it all over your face in a really thick manner and leave it on for 20 minutes to one hour or you can actually even use it as a overnight face pack just leave it on 
while you sleep. Now this is going to treat uneven skin tone, bumpy skin, dry patches, eczema, irritated skin, allergy on your skin and even if you have sunburns or any such problems it's even gonna remove your suntan to a certain extent. If you have blackheads and whiteheads it's kind of just I don't know how it does it but it kind of gets rid of them and it even prevents blackheads and whiteheads to a certain extent. Or you can also mix it in with other face masks that you like to use like a clay mask or if you like to use a yogurt honey face mask whatever DIY face mask that you do you can even put a dollop of aloe vera gel into that and just mix it in as a part of your face mask just the same way we did for our hair mask. Number four yep you can also use it as a makeup primer. If you don't have primer or a primer really doesn't suit your skin or if you live in a really hot humid climate and you don't want to add that extra step of a primer or you just don't want to waste extra money in buying a primer you can actually use this as a serum and a face primer before applying your makeup it's gonna leave your skin just slightly tacky and it'll really hold on that foundation or whatever makeup you're gonna apply on top of it it's really gonna hold on to it so it's a really good makeup primer and a serum Tip 4.A, you can also use it as a skin serum. You don't just have to use it as a thick face mask. In the morning, you can also use it as a serum or even moisturizer. If you have oily skin, you can just use a little bit of aloe vera gel as your moisturizer. You don't even have to go ahead and put anything else on your face. That does sound pretty cool, doesn't it? You can also use it as an under eye serum. If your eyes are tired after a long day of work, you've been staring at the computer, or the TV for way too long and your eyes are really really tired just take a little bit of aloe vera gel and tap it underneath your eyes and leave it on as your under eye serum and it's really cooling and nourishing at the same time. Number five you can use aloe vera gel to treat and soothe sunburn and sun damage on your skin. Now if you have really really fair skin or even some medium skin tones really burn in the sun you can use just So no matter what your skin is going through, put a layer of aloe vera gel and it's really going to calm down your skin. So that's how beautiful aloe vera gel is. And uh, finally, before I sign off, I want to remind you to be careful of the brand that you buy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, okay? In case you're wondering what's on my face, <laughs> details will be on Instagram. So I shall see you there. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love you so much. Mwah.